Okay, so our struggle at this point was the tractor could not pull it sideways out of that big rut. So we brought the excavator in. I had Curtis in the excavator. So needless to say, that did not work. Definitely stay tuned for the next episode because this, this mobile home is going to be out of there. So we can see this pond view. I don't care if it's going to be in one piece, two pieces, or a thousand small pieces. Hey guys, Capper here, welcome back. So we left off, we kind of broke it free from the ruts and burying the right side tires up to the axles. Um, but now we can't move it forward or reverse because the slash piles in front of me, which is a really huge pile, and I can't move it in reverse. We don't have enough room to swing the tail end the other way. So now we have to try to figure out how to swing the front end over. And just for some reference here, the mini excavator can't even lift this front tongue. And that can lift 4,500 pounds. So this is about a 5,000 pound tongue weight trying to uh, get this thing out of here. Sometimes the tractor couldn't even lift it with the three point hitch. So right now we're trying to figure out a way to get this front slid over. I tried the excavator on its own on its own on the ground it, it would not slide this thing over but we're going to try something else next getting it off of uh, getting it off of here right now with a block That was your idea, wasn't it? Yep, it worked. Tell, we'll, we'll, we'll tell, tell the viewers what we did. Two railroad ties, make it slide back and forth. Yep. Hold up, Cap, hold up. Hey guys, Capper here, and just a really quick interruption about this mobile home. Uh, most of the people don't realize it, but it's going to someone who needs a home. Um, so no money has been made on it. It wasn't sold. And everyone in the process, me, Curtis, and Ron, and Casey, will probably lose out on time and energy and the machine stuff. But the point is, is it's going to be rehabbed and it's going to go to somebody who needs a home. Um, it's not in that bad a shape, by the way. We've rehabbed some pretty rough houses, so... That's the story on the mobile home. Let's finish seeing if we can get this thing out. All right, so Casey's idea worked. Um, so I went and grabbed like two or three more railroad ties from the pile and I basically made kind of like a block chain here, a rail if you will. But here you could see that I'm struggling just to get it over the lip because uh, one of the ties is just a little higher. So I'll show you how heavy this front end is on this thing. I mean it is just a behemoth. So now we're going to keep sliding it here on my block chain and see if we can get it over enough where I can make the turn.
What's that? Oh yeah, here we go. So I'm sure some people might say, well, why didn't you do this from the get-go? Um, first of all, I did try to slide it with the excavator. Remember, said I couldn't move it. Um, we hadn't thought of this idea yet. However, if you look on uh, both sides of this thing now, it is still sunk um, probably 14-ish inches below the surface. So we still have a dirt hill to overcome, even though I shaved two feet off around this entire front and back of this thing. Um, so let's keep going here and see how this is going to finish out. What do you think, Cap? And so here's a quick look at the back. Um, I'm getting Curtis ready to push with the excavator, but you can see how much dirt I have to excavate out of there. Um, and then this is why we didn't push right from the beginning. Um, I finally decided I have to excavate eight or 10 feet out of there just to fit the excavator down at the same level because we have to get the uh, blade of the excavator down to the frame of the mobile home. Uh, if you push any higher on it, you're gonna destroy it. And this is going to be someone's home who needs a home here, hopefully very shortly. So th here's another reason why we weren't pushing the whole time, because I had to basically excavate out an area. And you can see how it's going downhill right here even, just to get the excavator in behind it. Oh, what a day. This battery's about to die, too. But we'll see. soft dirt all by itself look at the coyote roll and this thing is packed with junk and furniture so it's it's quite the behemoth so let's let's enjoy this final run
Oh, this one's going. So we got it on this one. Oh, good. Whew. Man, this thing is a beast. We gotta pace this off. Wow. I can't believe it held, but this this is only a two inch hitch. That's only a seven thousand pound receiver. And here is a new open view. With the big one gone. We haven't decided what we're gonna do here because that the area where that big one was would be a good burn hole already because it's you know three foot lower than everything else to begin with but i think he's going to try and get that epa guy out here i can't believe it though look at this place soon we're going to be raking this uh, and planting some grass and winter wheat in here and next thing you know this will all be green so good progress <laughs> 